Allentown City Council approved Thomas F. Trott Jr. as the city's newest solicitor Wednesday, filling a key vacancy in the city's cabinet. Trott, a private practice attorney who has represented the Diocese of Allentown since the 1980s, will replace solicitor Don McCarthy who was one of the final appointees forwarded by ex-mayor Ed Polowski. Polowski nominated McCarthy for the solicitor job in January as the mayor's federal criminal trial began. Polowski was forced to resign in March after he was convicted on 47 counts for a pay-to-play scheme that traded city contracts for campaign donations. Nare O'Connell, who was appointed to replace Polowski later that month, decided against keeping McCarthy, who had run afoul of some council members and O'Connell himself, when he issued an opinion stating that sitting in recently departed members of council were not eligible for the interim mayor position. McCarthy officially resigned in April. Trod has been in solo practice since the 1990s. From 1975 to 1991, he was a partner with Roberts, Trod, Wallach. A lifelong resident of Allentown, Trod served as solicitor for the Lehigh career. He also served as assistant solicitor for Lehigh County for six years. Council approved Trod by a 5-2 vote. Councilman Courtney Robinson and Ed Zuckel voted no. Some council members had concerns with a possible conflict of interest between Trod's work for the diocese and his role in Allentown. Robinson asked Trod to describe the kind of work he has done for the diocese. Trod pointed out that he is not a diocese employee, but is instead contracted by the church. In the past, he handled litigation for the diocese, but currently focuses on real estate matters, he said. Councilman Daryl Hendricks, who voted in favor of Trod, asked him how he would approach representing both council and the mayor. Council has discussed getting its own solicitor in the past, and has formed a committee to review the city's charter and the possibility of adding a council solicitor. Trod said he would advise the board against hiring its own council. In other municipalities, such as Northampton County, having separate solicitors has encouraged partisanship, he said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, he said. Trod will be the city's third solicitor in a year's time. Before McCarthy's brief stint, Susan Wilde served as solicitor from 2015 to 2017. She left the position to run for Congress. Trot is the latest in a series of appointments made by O'Connell who has prioritized filling vacancies in his first two months in office. He promoted police capt. Tony Elselbin to interim police chief in April to take the place of outgoing chief Glenn Dorney. Several officers within the department were also promoted to vacant leadership positions. The changes did not require council approval. On Wednesday, City Council voted on nearly two dozen other appointments to boards and commissions including the Zoning Hearing Board, Planning Commission, Human Relations Commission and the Allentown Commercial and Industrial Development Authority. O'Connell has also accepted applicants for the city's vacant managing director position, a crucial bureaucratic role that works closely with the mayor. City Council will have to confirm O'Connell's selection for managing director. The position has been vacant since 2016 when managing director, Francis Doherty resigned. He later pleaded guilty to a federal corruption charge related to the Polowski case. Council rejected several of Polowski's appointees to the managing director position in the past, most recently former Lehigh County Executive Tom Muller who was nominated shortly before Polowski left office. Council tabled his candidacy indefinitely. Caption Watch, take a tour of Allentown's newest office building, the 12-story Tower 6. The 145,000-square-foot office building at 6th and Hamilton Streets will feature Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, CAPTRUST and Talon Energy, among other tenants. April Gamas, The Morning Call, Watch, take a tour of Allentown's newest office building, the 12-story Tower 6. The 145,000-square-foot office building at 6th and Hamilton Streets will feature Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, CAPTRUST and Talon Energy, among other tenants. April Gamas, The Morning Call, Caption Barry Manilow Donates Piano to Allen HS Barry Manilow Donates Piano to Allen HS Caption In the Lehigh Valley, Syrian Americans annually mark their homeland's Independence Day with a formal flag raising. In Allentown on Saturday, April 14, 2018, the song that typically goes up with the flag carried a note of anger over the missile strike by the United States. In the Lehigh Valley, Syrian Americans annually mark their homeland's Independence Day with a formal flag raising. In Allentown on Saturday, April 14, 2018, the song that typically goes up with the flag carried a note of anger over the missile strike by the United States. 
caption the Allentown Post Office at 5th and Turner Streets represented one of the most recognizable structures of the city's New Deal era when it opened in 1934. The Allentown Post Office at 5th and Turner Streets represented one of the most recognizable structures of the city's New Deal era when it opened in 1934. Caption Lanta unveils natural gas filling station for its buses Lanta unveils natural gas filling station for its buses Eopilo at McCall.com Twitter at Emily Eopilo 610-820-6522